Traders, a short recap of my trading session today. Well, I am up over $11,000, but I have to tell you something. I do not feel right about what I did today. I made several mistakes today. I did not read the market correctly. I did not read the stocks I was trading well, most of them correctly. I don't, I did not trade right. Let me start with Boeing. First thing you need to know that stocks have their own personality. And Boeing is definitely have a very strong personality. One of its uh, one of the things that happens to me quite a lot in Boeing is that it really shakes me out quite a lot. For example, I had a long trade in Boeing. I posted it right here for long in the trading room. I went long. It did go over the highs, come down a little, moved back to the highs, then crashed down right over here and took me out. Actually, my stop was somewhere over here, and then. I took my second train in Boeing. Why? Because I know Boeing has its own personality and sometimes while shaking me out, it's going to move the direction in the direction that I was initially expecting it to move. So it happened to be quite a lot in Boeing. Therefore, I, although it did move under the laws and usually when a stock is moving all the way down under the laws, I wouldn't take a second trade, certainly not for the long. But since this is the personality of Boeing and I kind of know this personality of Boeing, I will consider that. Now, you, you, you need to take a look at Boeing with the airlines. For example, American Airlines, look at what happened today. Now, all the airlines for some kind of news today are moving higher. So I, I had some, some, you know, some other things that helped me make the decision to go long Boeing for a second time right over here. And that was a great trade. The thing is, I did not co I did not read it correctly. I moved out here. I was extremely happy to cover my initial loss in Boeing. I mean, the end result, I'm up like uh, $189 right now, but I should have had much better. Look at that. It more than doubled my, my original move in Boeing. I mean, I, I should have, I, I just didn't read it correctly. I don't know why I'm, I'm just feeling like I'm not totally in line with the market today. And... I just moved out of Boeing way too early, which is the same thing that happened to me with Tesla. Now, again, with Tesla, I moved in at this topping tail here. You see that topping tail? This topping tail actually is over this recent high over here, which looked like a perfect technical formation for a long. Why? Stock came down, moved up, pulled back, moved over the recent high. That looks perfect. And the market at that time was moving higher too. So. I did not expect Tesla to come down that strong. Anyway, I had my stop here, I moved out, and then I flipped. Well, I flipped for several reasons. One of them, Yogi, in the training room, one of our analysts, he called it for short. He thought it was gonna be the biggest day for Tesla short today. And I have to say, I was kind of wondering why? Why does Yogi feel like it's gonna crash down today? Obviously, it was absolutely right, but that again means that I was not really in line with trading today. So, I did go short Tesla. That was my second trade Tesla short. And the end result is great because I'm over $8,000 in green in Tesla. But look again, I moved out here. I thought Tesla was way too extended. Yogi held down to it. He thought it's going to get green, red, sorry, today. And it crashed down. I mean, just amazingly right. I was wrong again. So I'm kind of, you know, lucky to be in green for my second trade because my second trade in Tesla was double as much loss as I had in my first trade. So I I, I really did re very good in Tesla today. So um, really the only trade I did right today was INO. And INO was a very classic gap and go trade. Stock is down 11%, well it started like seven or 8% down, just came down, I was waiting for a green candle which came and then posted it for a short under 1308 right over here in the trading room and crashed down beautifully. So that was a really good trade, just $3,000 up on this one, but that's the only one really I traded correctly. The rest, I don't know if I should say I was lucky. I don't know. I mean, I definitely did not trade it correctly. But I'm kind of happy to cover my loss in Boeing and a bit more and cover my loss in Tesla much more. So let's just say I was very nicely in green territory today. I'm going to finish nicely in green territory today, but maybe just a bit lucky. I did not feel, feel like I was trading correctly. So really uh, just a good lucky 
trading session today for me and that's it I'm gonna <laughs> just wait for tomorrow and see what happens thank you for watching this thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.